Hello, everybody. It's Jason here with another movie review. Regrettably, I will be talking about Madam Web, the newest superhero film from Sony Pictures. Now, this is normally the part where I would warn you about spoilers, but let this be a public service instead of a full-on review as to why you should not go see this movie. I've seen this movie so that you don't have to, but if you're a glutton for punishment and you don't like spoilers at all, then I guess go ahead and go see Madam Web. I'll wait. Oh, hi, you're back. So, Madam Webb, I just have one question about this movie. Who do I have to talk to to get that two hours of my life back? Madam Webb is not even a movie that's so bad it's good. It's so bad it's bad. It no longer makes bad movie nights fun if you're going to watch Madam Webb. I've never seen Morbius, but I would dare say that Morbius is a better movie than Madam Webb. I owe the folks in charge of Black Adam an apology. I owe the folks from Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom an apology. Any of the worst Marvel movies ever made is nowhere near as bad as Madam Web. None of the performers could have made this movie any better. They tried, they really tried. They did the best with the material they had and the material was nothing. It was just terrible, absolutely terrible. Adam Scott, poor Adam Scott trying the best he can to play Uncle Ben. He literally could have been any other character, but the only reason he was Uncle Ben was to connect it to Spider-Man. Emma Roberts, yeah, she wasn't even advertised in the movie at all. She appears in it for five minutes, criminally underused. The character she's playing, Mary Parker. Peter Parker's mom, who she's pregnant with, by the way, could have been played by literally anyone. They chose someone of her clout and caliber and didn't even use that clout. It makes no sense to me. Oh yeah, Peter Parker is in this movie. Yes, Mary Parker is pregnant with Peter Parker. You never hear his name though, because they don't want to use it like it's some secret password for a club. It's just, it. <clears throat> the movie is set in 2003 and it is very much a product of 2003 superhero movies. Daredevil was a better movie than this. Elektra was a better movie than this. Any actual superhero movie that was made in the early 2000s is better than this. You know why? Because they're a product of the early 2000s. It was experimental back then. They thought it was something that worked, but the superhero formula has been time tested again and again and again. It's 2024 people. Uh, There's some back and forth about whether Dakota Johnson actually likes this movie or dislikes this movie or is somewhere in the middle. I think she's somewhere in the middle, but you would probably say she really didn't have a good time making this movie based on her performance here. She definitely phones it in. I'm sure that Dakota Johnson is capable of a brilliant and multi-layered performance. Doesn't happen here. None of the actors could have done better with the material. The three younger actresses who play the young spider girls, who don't even suit up and become spider women, by the way, do the best they can with the material they're given, but the material is nothing. It is terrible. It is absolutely, I mean, it falls into the same trap that all those other superhero movies from back then did, except years, decades worth of experience between those movies and this one. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Oh, and don't even get me started on the film's villain, Ezekiel Sims. He's just so thinly layered. His motivation is to literally stay alive, just to stay alive. He's trying to prevent his own death by, by taking out these three young girls before they become spider people, which again, they never do in this movie. Those cool superhero costumes that they show on the posters and in the trailers barely appear in this movie for five minutes. And it's all just like a premonition. It's going to happen. Oh, just wait, wait till Madam Web 2. There isn't going to be a Madam Web 2. There's not going to be a Madam Web 2. I guarantee it. This movie will not be in theaters for more than two weeks. It'll be on streaming probably next week. It's, it's bad. It is so unbelievably bad. The action in this movie, there isn't any. There isn't any action in this movie. The most compelling sequence in this entire movie is a CPR tutorial. That's right. Cassandra Webb teaches the three young girls how to do CPR. I was present for a middle school health class in a movie theater. I did not go to see a comic book movie to have CPR taught to me, which I already know, again. They spend too much time on things that don't matter, 
a CPR lesson, and not enough time on other things that supposedly matter, like why these three girls have developed such a strong bond with Cassandra Webb. She abandons them for more than half of the movie, and yet they treat her like she's like their second mother. It's insane. It is completely crazy, and don't even get me started on that ending either. Oh my gosh. The way they set up the whole Madam Web costume, if you can call it that, is ridiculous. First of all, she's blinded in this final climax, which is just them running from this Ezekiel Sims guy, by the way. They're not even going to fight him. They're just running from him. She's using her precognitive powers to outthink him so she can help the girls escape from him. There's no fighting. There's no action. This is not a superhero movie. This is a really boring, terribly written movie disguised as a superhero movie. <sighs> She's also paralyzed, by the way. So this whole climax, Cassandra Webb is blinded, but then also paralyzed somehow. But it's never explained exactly how she's paralyzed. We just find her in this immobile wheelchair because she needs to be. And that's another thing. Things just need to happen. Now, I've said this about other movies before, but this movie is so egregious with that trope. It's just so unbelievably bad. If you haven't seen Madam Web, do not go see this movie. Seriously, don't. If David Zasloff was in charge of the fate of this movie, this is the movie that you just like shelve, burn, whatever you've got to do to like bury this movie for a tax write-off. This is what Sony should have done with this movie. I mean, it's insane. It is terrible. I'm so glad that I have the AMC Stubbs A-list membership, so I didn't actually have to put down actual money on this thing. I just wasted my time. I cannot stress enough. Madam Web is terrible. Do not go see this movie. <sighs> but that is just my opinion. If you had the misfortune of going to see Madam Web, please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Perhaps we can start a little support group down there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like button. You want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get updates on all my future videos. You can also follow my social media pages. Links down in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.